I like to kid to my patients that I'm kind of their super primary care doctor because what I do for diabetes, I'm not just focused on the sugars. I have to look at their blood pressure and their cholesterol and their weight and their exercise and diet regimen. I'm an endocrinologist and that's a fancy word for a doctor who deals with hormones. A lot of what I do is treating diabetics, um, but I also work with people with thyroid disorders, pituitary disorders, adrenal gland disorders, problems with low testosterone and bone disease. Thyroid disease, for instance, can cause a lot of problems with weight and emotions and energy and concentration. Uh, even diabetes sometimes can go and recognize that people don't have a primary care doctor who's routinely checking their blood tests. With thyroid disorders, we really trust the blood tests. Um, there's a good feedback between the thyroid and the brain and that usually tells us what's going on. Um, we do other tests like uh, iodine, nuclear medicine tests, ultrasounds of the thyroid um, to help us understand what's going on with the thyroid. I chose endocrinology because I wanted to be able to help patients feel better, but also not just treat them one time and be done with them. Having that long relationship with patients and seeing them improve and working with them. I really enjoy getting to know patients over time. And with my diabetic patients, that certainly is the case. I get to know their families. You know, they see the pictures on the wall of my kids and they ask how they're doing. When you have that personal connection with patients, it makes a big difference. I do not rush when I see patients. A lot of what I do is education, and it takes time and you need to spend time with patients so they understand what they're supposed to do and they can make improvements in their life. A good day for me is when I tell the patient that their diabetes is finally under good control and I get a yes or a all right or you can see that they're excited. Yeah, we have a very active diabetes and endocrine center here. Now we have four full-time faculty, a nurse practitioner, a diabetes educator, a diabetes nutritionist, two endocrinology fellows, um, and a nice diabetes center where we can see patients. It's hard to change your eating behaviors. It's hard to go to the gym five days a week. It's hard to give yourself shots of insulin. It's even hard to take pills all the time. If you understand why you're doing it, you have a much better chance of doing it and having success.